tak ať se na mě a určitě to nezlobí, no. Neberte si to nějak osobně, ale je to prostě tak. Měl byste se na to rovnou vykašlat a jít někam fakt opravdu si vyřezávat, uh, nevím, šachové figurky z chleba třeba. No. Buďáte líp a z chleb. Do prdele, oni vynášejí popelnice, já jsem je zapomněl vyndat. Ty vole, já budu mít teďka plnou popelnici týden. What's up with you people? I'm not sure about this whole look, but by the way, they don't, they don't say look, like ukáž mi ukulele, jo? To není takový to u, they say look, look. Aspoň teda se o to pokouším to říct, tak jako to říkají oni. Anyway, I found... I found a thousand crowns in my pocket when I was reaching for my microphone. That is dope. That is rad. That is lit. That is Gucci. That is... Awesome. <laughs> There's so many words. Uh, there are so many ways in which you can express something being great. To jsem to přehnal s tím kulichem. And my hair is greasy, but what can you do, right? Nothing. How about my t-shirt? My t-shirt's okay. I, I'm probably gonna take off my sweater too, because it's, the sun is amazing, man. Vitamin D, right? So, welcome, těsně vedle, welcome to another of my episodes of Jedu English. Uh, this is the second episode and I'm gonna hit the phone, right? This time I wanted to talk about um, education a little bit, uh, specifically school and the school system in the Czech Republic uh, because I'm a, I'm a bit unhappy about it. It, it makes me sad, sad for it. <coughs> uh, it makes me unhappy. Uh, and uh, the thing is, I'm not sure I can change it all by myself, but the thing I can do is have a voice, right? Because I do have a voice online. Uh, there's a lot of people following me. And I don't think we talk enough about this because we don't even realize how important uh, education is. Uh, by the way, notice that I said how important education is. I would bet this hat, I would bet it that you would say how important is education. This is a typical mistake Czech people make because uh, they confuse it with a question. It's not a question, right? There's no question mark. So how important the education is. Uh, the education, that's the subject, and is, is the verb, right? Uh, so I wanted to share a little story with you because there's so many stories, right? I've experienced, well, we've all experienced it, uh, all the bullshit, all the unfairness in the world. We just had to put up with it, right? We had to uh, zip it and we had to because there wasn't much else you could do when you were a kid. But when I was 15, I was hoping things would really change. Uh, I started uh, attending Gymnasium Nizio Spodjebrat. Uh, it's a high school in well, Spodjebrady, right? And there was this, I, I really liked physics, you know, physics was just, I found it interesting. And there was a teacher uh, called, should I name him or not? Yeah, I'm gonna name him. His name was Igor Hnizdo. I can still remember him. And throughout the first couple of lessons, uh, we were talking about, I think it was thermodynamics or something. You know, it wasn't rocket science. It wasn't very complicated. It was pretty, it came easy to me to understand it. Uh, so I figured, well, what, why, what the hell? Why, why not uh, go, and I'm not sure what they call this in English, but it's like an examination, right? You stand in front of the whole class and the teacher asks you questions and you have to answer as well <laughs> to your best knowledge, right? As well as you can. So I said to myself, let's do it 
before there's too much for me to study, right? And then it would be much harder for me. So during the, I guess it was the third lesson, I, you know, raised my hand and, and said, yeah, I want to be examined. And <laughs> I walked up in front of the class and I just started talking, you know, my, you know me. So I was improvising. Uh, it was, I knew, I knew what I was talking about, but it wasn't perfect, I guess. The teacher stopped me after two or three sentences and he said, all right, uh, maybe I wasn't clear enough. Go home, memorize the presentation I've made, word by word, learn it by heart, and then we can talk about something, right? So to him, he didn't give a fuck if I understood it, which I, by the way, did. Uh, he just wanted to hear what I, I don't even know what to tell you, man. It's so fucked up. You have to memorize. And the, and the presentation, there was usually about 50 or 60 slides full of text. And the uh, formulas were there. And you had to memorize everything. I'm, by the way, I'm all for the formulas. I know they're important. That's not, that's not my point. My point is, uh, he didn't care if I understood it. He wanted me to memorize it. And this is how he taught us physics for four years and basically completely killed, he completely killed the hunger for knowledge, the, the passion for physics. But, you know, I love physics. Physics is, it's amazing. It's one of the coolest things, right? Uh, it's describing the world around us. But I started hating it due to that teacher, due to him. Uh, so I was, I wasn't really pissed. Actually, I was sitting in the last row. I was, uh, <laughs> I was doing all kinds of shit, but I was, I, I can tell you one thing I wasn't doing and that, that was, uh, paying attention. I wasn't doing that. So, uh, I wonder if you guys have any, uh, si similar, uh, experiences or, well, experience <laughs> and, I'm not even sure why the teacher was like this, whether it was his natural behavior, like he wasn't made to be a teacher, he didn't care about the students, or was it the system just beating him day by day and killing that passion in him as well, right? So he was a victim of the system as well. Like, I don't know whose fault it is, but I can tell you this, Mr. Please you should not be teaching high schoolers because you're just killing their spirit. That's the word you're killing. <laughs> yeah. So do something else, man. I don't know. Build a boat and go sailing on fucking Sazava or whatever you want to do. But this is not the right way to teach, man. I mean, you got to inspire do you think you inspire the students? Shit. Huh. I don't even know what to say, man. And this is just one of many stories. I guess we all have them. Yeah, so I'm just wondering what we can do to make the system a better place. And I guess it's about the teachers mainly because right next to this teacher, right next to Mr. There was another teacher. For example, Mr. Havranek, who was teaching biology in the coolest way. He was uh, one, uh, he didn't actually teach me, but one guy told me that he rapped. What was it he was rapping? Like something to memorize. He did it in a rap song, you know, for you to memorize, to have fun, to enjoy. And it's, <laughs> it's the exact opposite. So there's two things I encourage all of you to do. Do prdele, oni vynášejí popelnice, já jsem je zapomněl vyndat. Ty vole, já budu mít teďka plnou popelnici týden. No nic, no, to nevadí. A uh, where was I? <laughs> to už znáte tuhle frázi. Where was I? Two things, two things I encourage everybody to do. One, do not let these people discourage you from wanting to know more, wanting to learn, wanting to improve, wanting to have fun even. And two, and to talk about this, uh, speak up, say something to, I don't know, say something to the principal if you really think the teacher's that bad. We didn't do it. I'm not sure if it 
uh, you know, could change anything, but we should have done it. Because that's the right thing to do. If you don't like something, say something about it. And don't be like me in the last row playing cards or playing FIFA on uh, a phone or something. One thing I need to point out, though, um, maybe a bit to the contrary to what I was saying before, uh, I, I do realize that it's not black and white. I am not stupid. And I'm not saying that teachers are bad, students are great, and the teachers are fucking our uh, little darlings up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm, this is my point that I'm addressing is there are bad teachers that should not be here and that's it you know of course there will always be students who will always say this teacher is unfair to me he's a dick and it's it will not be true right uh, it will not be the case but that's besides the point okay are we clear do we understand each other so yeah, that was my little rant. To be frank, I haven't really thought it through. So I'm not sure if it makes much sense. It's just my, it's mainly emotions, to be honest. Uh, but I guess <laughs> you're here for a different reason. You're not here for my facts. You're here to learn English, right? So it, it, shouldn't, be a, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't stand in the way of you learning. Oh, fuck. Oh. And also, maybe I could be wrong. I'm not saying I'm the smartest guy ever. Uh, I'm not saying I'm always correct. But this is how I feel. And this is what I've experienced. And I know many other people have experienced it as well. Because I do receive the messages and I do read them. So, yeah, that's about it. Guys. Let me know how you liked it, and I'm going to hit the camera just one last time. Hopefully, I'm not going to miss. And see you some other time. Smula. Whoa, it's beautiful. Berino! Pojď ke mně, pojď. No, hodná. Pojď sem ke mně. Ke mně. Máš žižu a má stopu. <laughs> Dobrý, tak čus, buďte zdraví. A nevím, no, nějak se mi to teď rozležilo v hlavě, jak jsem to řekl všechno tak spontánně, jak jsem to měl na mysli. Ono je dobrý občas možná si ty věci trošku promyslet, ale asi si zatím stojím. A tento příběh je pravda, ať vy si myslí, vám budu lhát. Prostě, mm, mm, mm. není to dobrý. No, tak ať se na mě a určitě to nezlobí, no. Neberte si to nějak osobně, ale je to prostě tak. Měl byste se na to rovnou vykašlat a jít někam fakt opravdu si vyřezávat, uh, nevím, šachový figurky z chleba třeba. No. Bůjáte líp a schle. Yo, one more thing I wanted to mention. I don't want to sound like a butthurt guy who just complains. That's not me. And I'm all about the fucking positivity, man. I, uh, I appreciate all the good work that teachers do and all that blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're talking about the future of our country, basically. Like the students, the way you raise them. It's such a responsibility. And I'm not just, I'm not just gonna stand by idly and not say anything. If I don't like something and I think it's important to change it, I'm gonna speak up, okay? But I wanted to end with something positive. So, uh, huge respect, uh, mad respect, mad props to all the teachers who are trying to make the world a better place, basically, by giving love and encouraging and inspiring the students. Thank you guys. I love teachers, the good ones anyway. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. I'm done here. <laughs>